This is a sponsored video. Ahoy hoy and welcome to the channel. I'm Dr. Sumerian, not a real doctor, and today we are going to go over the dankest memes from the dank memes from Site19 subreddit. But first, I need to shamelessly make a little bit of money. So, a little while back, I put out a video about how confinement was dead, and while the YouTube series is definitely gone, a group of SCP community members are getting together to work on a continuation of the story in comic book form. They have a Kickstarter right now, and while it has already reached its extremely modest $99 goal, it could certainly use your attention. If you decide to pledge at $13, you'd get a copy of the first comic signed by the writer and illustrator. So if you're interested in seeing the world of confinement continue, and you'd like to have a copy of their comic, head on over and check them out. And, uh, tell them I sent you. And now, let's dive into the memes. This meme is by Zeal. Write that the D-Class suffered no negative effects, but they're writhing on the floor. Uh, I don't see what you're talking about. Are they dead? Well, then write that they also died. I want to go home. This is so common, especially in the earlier SCP Wiki articles. <laughs> Uh, where, like, the, the complete disregard for human life borders on comical, if it wasn't for the fact that it was a uh, human life that was supposedly being snuffed out. And uh, I'm glad the wiki got better, but still this shows up sometimes. Um, because it's what people think the SCP wiki is about, even if it isn't. This one is by Shoulder. Search the wiki. Slenderman. Siren Head. Five Nights at Freddy's. Backrooms. SCP content farm script writers. Impossible. Perhaps the archives are incomplete. I, yeah. So this is a problem less with the wiki itself. And well, I mean, you could say that it's something. Wrong. Well, I mean, Siren Ed would come up with an entry uh, because somebody decided to take advantage of the idea that people think Siren Ed was an SCP and created a completely unrelated article entitled it Siren Ed. I mean, it's not unrelated to the name. Um, Siren Head, I believe, is appropriate for the article name, uh, but it was crafted specifically to take advantage of that. I, uh, which is, you know, it's fair. You do what you want to do. Um, but of course, SCP content farm people, and it feels like it feels really weird to like call that a group, but it is a group at this point. Um, would love to be able to grab stuff like Slenderman, Siren Head, Five Nights at Freddy's, and Backrooms, and throw them into their SCP stuff. Because SCP is probably, maybe depending on the fandom, got its own little niche. So the ability to bring in these other niche fandoms and kind of conglomerate them together would be nice for them. But it's not always the easiest thing in the world when the SCP Foundation is like very anti-integrating outside works. Especially when those outside works. Three of four of these, I don't know about the backrooms, I'd have to look to be sure, but I'm going to bet that they have a Creative Commons license like the Foundation does. But Slenderman, Siren Head, and Five Nights at Freddy's are fully copyrighted uh, intellectual properties that can't be used on the SCP Wiki even a little bit. Um, so good luck with that, I guess. <laughs> And, like, putting them into an SCP video is, you know, you're going to probably get away with it, but it doesn't take, it won't be long before somebody comes along and goes, hey, that's our IP, um, pay us $10,000 or you lose. <laughs> This one is by Bee Eater 100. The emotional turmoil of a mentally ill man granted endless power, suffering from his own mental state and his abilities desperately. He tries to escape it, but he's forced to be a character in a story that hates his guts. Uh, the, I suppose this is the arrest of the community. Wow, he could be. Can he beat Goku? <laughs> there is a. Pr okay, so I get it. I get it. I get it. Uh. If you write a deep story with a powerful pro or antagonist, the first thing that some people are going to think is, can this beat X person or thing in other media? And I'm guilty of of catering to this. It's not something that I think about naturally, but it is something that I accept that other people wish to see on the wiki. So I have, in the past, definitely created uh, content around this, and I probably will in the future, too. So I can't speak too negatively of this, uh, and shouldn't, uh, otherwise I would be a hypocrite. But at the same time, I can understand the 
mental state of the person who creates this character or creates this story and expects it to be touching and uh, affecting. And instead, the only thing people go is, oh, that's a very powerful entity. Can it beat Superman? But it is what it is. And not all of the stories where they do this is, uh, you know, if you do it with SCP-096, I mean, 096 was meant to just be a monster manual entry. Um, so it's it's not a huge deal when uh, 682, you know, can 682 beat Superman? Well, the people who created 682 weren't creating the next, I don't know, I'm trying to think of a masterpiece in literature and suddenly uh, drawing a blank. But uh, they weren't trying to create, I mean, I guess I could just say that, right? I'm an idiot sometimes. <laughs> They weren't trying to create a masterpiece of literature. They were just creating a monster manual entry. So if you put it up against Superman, that's what it was there for in the first place. That's not a huge deal. I mean, originally it was there to be like kind of in uh, sort of a menagerie of other SCPs, but that implies that you could throw 682 against 096 or 682 against um, Abel or Kane. Make a video on an SCP from the uh, eighth series, or draw twenty-five all the SCP channels. Now, hold on a second. Uh, this, hold on a second, Clev Prime, who created this meme. Um, uh, I've created at least two videos about series eight SCPs. Now, the fact of the matter that I'm the one that wrote them shouldn't change. The, shouldn't change the fact that I've done it. Um, also, I mean, like, I'm not the only one who's done that. For sure, the other uh, other SCP channels have definitely done similar stuff. Now, if you want to talk about the content farm people, I mean, fair enough. Um, they probably ha they probably do too if they could find something that's interesting enough or that they can uh, hook their viewers in with. There's a lot. Of, there's a there's a theme to this video. It seems uh, Pertabo the Fourth uh, created this meme. Highly complex, well crafted, masterfully written SCP. The YouTube videos. Look, people have short attention spans on the internet it's fine you're in the middle of time you know you're in the middle of reading something and your discord pops up and you're in the middle of writing something and you get a text message and you're in the middle of writing something and a youtube prompt or youtube alert comes up from one of your subscribed video uh, subscribe channels or and so on and so on and so on we have short attention spans because we have a lot of things competing for our attention so being able to shorten some things down and still get the gist of them is important to a lot of people uh, if people want to sit down and block out some time to actually read long, well-crafted, masterfully written SCPs, they will. Uh, but that doesn't mean they should be excluded from being able to participate in conversations about them or not get to experience them at all if they just never find the time for it. And honestly, I've said this before, I'll say it again. There are highly complex, well-crafted, masterfully written SCPs on the wiki. I haven't created any of them. I've written almost 140 works on the wiki. I wouldn't call any of mine highly complex, well-crafted, or masterfully written. And I would argue that, and I'm saying that as a preface because I would argue that most of the works on the wiki aren't that. There's a few. There's a few. But most of them aren't. So what? why, am I, why would I get angry that people summarize them? Anyway, there are three types of SCPs. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> it it's true. User 007777 uh who created this meme. It is true. There's the sad uh d you know unfortunate suffering SCPs. There's the we're so evil and we're killing people and we're destroying things and we're you know those SCPs. And then there's just the ones where it's like, "Oh, that's funny. That's clever. I like it." There's probably, I mean, there are other ones too, but this is a, a sort of, you could probably take every SCP and broadly define it as one of these three, uh, th one of these three types, even if there are a lot of niche and nuance to it. Um, I know I very much agree. It's, uh, it's interesting. I, 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 uh, yeah. I mean, there's not a lot that aren't extremely evil or suffering that aren't also funny. I, I honestly, I'm trying to think of one, and I just can't, so, you know. Oh, and that's the last one, so thank you very much for watching. I know it's been a little while since I did a video. I'm trying, I'm going to try and get back into a, into it. I think I said that the last two times I put out a video, and both of them were like a month apart. I'm trying to get back into a rhythm, but I want to make sure and uh, put a video out at least once a month, probably longer. Um, pro uh, Not longer. <laughs> no, not longer. That's the opposite of what I want. <laughs> Shorter. I want to do more a month.
Uh, but I just, I, I, I was, I was experiencing some creator burnout. Everyone on YouTube eventually does. And I, I, I've been sort of dialing it back so that I don't, uh, completely, <laughs> so that I don't completely delete my channel and be like, I'm done with this. I don't think I would ever do that. That's, that's silly to me. But at the same time, I don't want to push myself to, uh, to find out. <laughs> Either way, um, I'm going to try probably, I would say in December, or maybe even in the new year, because December is going to be pretty busy for me. But in the new year, I'm thinking very much about getting back to a two a week schedule or at the very least, uh, maybe two or three videos uh, a month. Maybe I, I might change my scheduling around to uh, maybe make it once a month or not once a month. <laughs> God damn it. It's like a Freudian slip is like, yeah, I'd love to go down to once a month. No, once a week, once a week. Instead of two a week, like I used to do, uh, just to kind of also improve the quality of the stuff that I'm putting out. Because when you do two videos a week, it can be very easy to just kind of get into the motions and like not not work hard on the thing that you're creating. So anyway, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit the subscribe button, then hit the notification bell next to that so you're notified when I upload new videos. And then head on over to patreon.com forward slash dsumerian, pledge at any level like everybody here on the screen already has, including Sinjariki, who has pledged at $100. It is nice to know that I'm not alone out here, and I will see you all again in the next video.